Hey Bells! So I wanted to come and tell you guys a story really quick. It's a crazy story that literally just happened to me. A lot of week ago, week ago. Hey, hey. Follow me on Snapchat, Ming for King. You owe a little bit of the story already. I kind of went in, okay, I did. I kind of went in on Snapchat and you guys like to the full story, Ming. So I'm here to tell y'all to tea. Sit down, kick your feet up, relax your feet. Party on at the street, just kick it, just kick it. Let me start from the beginning. Around 11 o'clock in the morning, I start to get these random weird calls. The caller was calling unknown or blocked, if you will. And I was answering because I didn't know who it was. It could have been something important. I didn't know. So I kept answering like, hello. At first, I answered real cute. You know what I'm saying? I said, hello? Hello? I didn't know if it was going to be a professional call, if it was going to be a homegirl calling from out of state. I didn't know. So I had to answer real cute and proper and ting. So I said, hello? And no answer. I literally kid you not, the caller called me a total of like 50 times in one day and every time they called me i answered because i was waiting for this person to tell me something why why are you blowing up my phone what do you want what do you need from me i don't have much to offer but what do you, what can i help you with i could hear in the background i could hear some breathing i could hear people talking in the background i could hear a tv or something i don't know but i heard that it was someone sitting there listening to me say hello so i'm like do i have Stalker, does she have a secret admirer? I started to feel a little way, like, ah, uh, this my new sugar zaddy? Hello? I was lost. So eventually, after about the 15th time, I answered and said hello, and this person sat and listened to my voice. I finally was irritated. So when I answered, I was like, I went from hello to hello? Who is this? Why are you playing on my phone? Don't play on my phone. I'm not the one. Who is this calling me? So I don't know if I shook the person on the other end or what, but the other person was like, Hello? Uh, who is this? Last time I checked, you've been blowing up my phone calling me unknown. So I need you to run me some information. Figure out why you're calling me. So who is this? Well, I'm calling because your number is showing up in my fiance's phone. And I want to know who you are. <laughs> First of all, pause. Pause this whole entire story because this chick then lost her mind. Number one, she sounded like a Becky. So we gonna call her Becky. Kinda like a Jessica, an Ashley, a Brittany, or a Susan. Well, I went with Becky, okay? Because Susan is my conscience and she could not have that name. So I gave her a Becky, okay? So I'm in my head like, I know Becky did not just come for me. On my phone, on my line. She called my line. Came for me and told me that I was having an affair with her fiance. Like that's how she kind of like came at me. Like you talking to him, chick. What? What, Becky? Listen, I was being nice, so I said, Ming, don't no, don't step on her just yet, because this is kind of amusing me. Because I'm bored out of my mind sitting in my house. My baby was quarantined at the time, and I ain't had nothing else to do. So I'm like, okay, this is a little bit funny. So let me entertain. I said, well, I mean. <laughs> I don't know, who's your fiance? His name is Dan, and y'all have been talking. She ain't say it like that, but she said it in like a white girl voice. His name is Dan, y'all have been talking. I just wanna know the truth. So I said, first of all, Becky, at this point she was Becky. I said, first of all, Becky, I don't know a Dan, and I'm pretty damn sure a Dan would not be interested in me. I am uninterested in a Dan at this point in my life. Uh, you have the wrong number. Becky proceeds to give me that, oh, oh, why? I got the wrong, oh, okay. Oh, you don't know a Dan? Okay. She gave me the, okay, and then hung up. So I'm pacing like, this shit just, this shit just give me the okay and hung up like she was about to be at my door in five minutes. She gave me the okay, okay trick at your door. Like what? What you, you don't know her, Dan? Dan, do you know her? That's how she wanted to, I was like, girl, do she know where I live? You 
You know my phone number. You been blowing me up. You talking to me like you know me. She must know where I live. So I'm looking at the blinds like it's Becky coming down the street. Does she live around the corner? Does she live across the street? What is going on with life right now? I was like, let me just let me just calm down because this is not my fight. You're not messing with Dan. Dan and got caught up way too many times. Dan got some explaining to do. Dan and his cheating ways getting you involved, man. He got me all up in the story confused. Like, am I messing with Dan? Am I talking to a Dan? Do me and Dan date? I was lost. Like, whoa. Came on too strong at that time. Becky, calm down. I wanted to console her. Like, calm down, Becky. I thought we were friends at one point. Like. You calling me over and over and over again like, do you need a hug? Do you need someone to talk to? Because you doing your research like, like, a, like a boss. Like, I mean, we could have been friends, but at this point, if we ended up to go sit down and, and get drinks and talk about Dan, you might think I'm, I'm messing with Dan still. Like, we might not ever be able to get past this, but I like, I like the thought process that she had. She really came strong. She just had the wrong one, but I, I like the thought process. There's other people in his phone that she should have called and not moi because it wasn't it wasn't me. I thought maybe she got the numbers mixed up. Maybe she looked at the number real quick, tried to memorize it, and then called me. Like I, I you need to go back and do your research. One more again, Becky. That's all I'm saying. And now I laugh like I kind of like Becky. Like that Becky. Becky. Okay, Becky. I go on with my day. I still get these unknown calls. I didn't cuss Becky out. I was like, oh, whatever, Becky. Just, I feel for Becky. Everybody has been a Becky at one point in their life. So I feel for Becky. Like, okay, she hears a female voice. She's like, who, like, who is this? Like, she's just in her head. Me and Dan then did a little couple of things that night. Okay, in her head. I was like, no. All of a sudden I get a text. Now I feel like this was Becky's phone, but the text said, this is Dan's fiance's best friend. Now she's telling me that your number is in his phone twice. I'm trying to figure out who you are. We just want the truth. We just want to know what's going on. That's all we want. I'm like, who is Dan? I looked him up on Facebook and I said, screenshot, sends it back. Is this your Dan? Is, it, is this your Dan? She was like, no, um, you call, he called you this morning. You, you know who we're talking about. It's Dan, stop playing like you don't know who it is. Please just let us know who you are and what's going on. Don't cover for him. In the exact time I talked to him, she said around 11 o'clock a.m. I was like, oh, I talked to him around 11 o'clock a.m. So I was scrolling through my phone, you know doing what I'm doing. Like, okay, let me scroll, do a little more research, more research than Becky did. So I scroll. And I come across the number, I'm like, what? I'm thinking like, do I sleep cheat? Is that what I do? Seven in the morning, I'm like, was I taking a nap? Was I up? Who was I talking to? Who is this number? Who called me? I, my mind went blank. Like, who is this Dan? Well, we gonna get to the bottom of this. I click the number. Bring, bring, bring. Hello? This is such and such towing company. That's the story right here. Do y'all remember when I had to get Bay towed at the end of August because Bay had a little situation with her battery and things, and I just had to get her fixed? Do you guys remember? I even have the footage. Let's roll the footage. You, you remember that towing company? Well, that was a towing company who just answered when I called. And I said, is this Dan? He said, why well, yes, yes it is Dan. Hi, hi, how are you? I was like, oh, now I remember talking to you this morning. You called me because you didn't put in the right invoice and you needed some information for your records, for taxes and things like that. And I gave you, but you asked me. You just asked me your personal questions. What type of car was it? Such and such. I'm obliged. And I gave you my information so that you could have that. But then you need to get control of Becky. Okay? Becky's on my line calling me, blowing up my phone, acting like I'm messing with you, Dan. And I'm going to need you to get her right, Dan. Because you don't need to be calling customers, Dan. Okay? I'm sitting at home chilling, Dan. I'm married, Dan. 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 
You need to get Becky off my line before I hurt her feelings, especially now that I know who you are and I know why I talk to you. I'm going to need her not to be questioning who I talk to, especially business-wise. I'm going to need her to... Dan? Dan? Get your crazy lady off my line. And goes, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I can't believe she would do that. She's crazy. That's my fiance. Oh my goodness. I'm so, so sorry. Please, no hard feelings. Please, I'm sorry. And I just said, it's okay, Dan. We've all been there. I just need Becky to get a handle. He's like, who's Becky? I'm like, don't worry about it. Just no. She needs to get off my phone. That was that, y'all. That was the story. That's how I guess I ended up having an affair with Dan, the tow truck man. Who knows? But long story short, she hasn't called me since then. So apparently he didn't got her together all the way together because that's just not professional, Becky. Especially when your man bringing home the bacon and you calling the customers and stuff. Stop it, Becky. If you guys like these story times, let me know.